Hey YouTube PJ here, this is Dog Pound 24-7. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and hit that like. Good evening, people. Got some good old content to share with you tonight, but actually let me rephrase that. Some sick old content. This stuff that I'm about to share with you is the one of the most disturbing articles I've seen in the news in quite quite some time, people. It is very, very disturbing. Um it made me sick. Made me sick. Literally lost my appetite to the point I could not eat my dinner tonight. It is very, very disturbing on so many levels. We're about to break that down. But before I get into that, people, I first and foremost, as I always do, want to thank all my subscribers and viewers for your loyalty and dedication to the channel. You guys have been very, 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 very cool with the comments, with the, you know, having my back with a lot of situations, shedding some light, giving me eye openers. I truly appreciate all that, people. You guys have been superb and awesome. Thank you. Also, if you'd like to make donations to the channel, you can visit paypal.com. Andrews Card Nation 19 at gmail.com is my address. It's A N D R E W S C A R D N I T O N 19 at gmail.com. It'll be in the description as well. So, thank you. Anything's appreciative, but let's get into this content, people. A 51 year old Montana man by the name of William Edward Miller was arrested in charge with 64 counts, people. 64 counts of sexual abuse and a rape of a child, people. No shit. 64 counts, but that's not the kicker, people. The kicker is this man received a one-year deferred sentence. A one-year deferred sentence. Yeah, you heard me right. One year. So what that means is, people, a one-year deferred sentence means that man might not spend a day in jail. That's right. 64 counts of sexual abuse and rape of a child, and that man does not spend a day in jail? This man right here. Take a good look at that mugshot. This man is going to get off scot-free pretty much. Okay, as long as he, see, oh, what, let me break that down a little bit, the sentence, the deferred sentence. It, it, what it is, it's the judge. If the judge, if this guy abides by all what the judge orders him to do, those charges go right out the window. Oh, yeah. Good old Montana laws, baby. Yep. So if this guy, he has to complete, obviously, mind you, this is unsupervised probation at best. So it's pretty lenient, you know. Going to be in the community. I, Unbelievable. I swear, if that man was in my community, oh, I'd be in jail. I'd be in jail. With no doubt, I'd be in jail. Because that, that 64 counts and this man's walking the street, there's a problem there. There's a problem there. Um, I have kids. I'm, I'm sure many of you guys have kids. I'm, I imagine you, have, you view this as the same way I'm going to. It is very disturbing. This man only has to complete his predator class, sexual predator class, whatever that, com upon completion of that, and whatever the other orders the judge has him, you know, abide by. If he completes all this, people, he goes scot-free. Scot-fucking-free. Mind you, mind you, this man, there's evidence as well, okay? There's actual evidence video. It was found on his cell phone and computer of him raping a 14-year-old girl. 14, mind you. 14-year-old girl. Let that process. And also, that ain't it, people. Also, had 11-year-old boy rape her as well. As he was videoing this. Nice, right? One year deferred sentence. That's all he got. All he got. With all this evidence, a one year deferred sentence. This man doesn't spend a day in jail. Makes me sick. The criminal justice system is so broken beyond recognition. It's it's it, it, they, these laws, these laws. Somebody's got to do something about these laws, okay? Because they have to be rewritten and sworn in or something. They, these laws have to be take. This is insane. This is insane. I can only imagine the uproar in this community where this took place. This man guaranteed he's not living. He can't live in that same community. There's no fucking way. I'm, you know, there's no way. I'm very, very disturbed by this. In case you guys can't tell, I'm all fired up, people. Fired, fired, fired up. This is it's sickening. This judge and district attorney that handed down this sentence should be truly, truly ashamed of themselves. I, I, I they are they're just as guilty for handing out a sentence like that. That's it's nuts. It's nuts. 
Not only, people, that's not all, that's not all. Not only did they find that, they also found footages of bestiality. Obviously, this guy's got a few screws, you know. And not only the rape, let alone, this guy is very, very fucking disturbed. He had bestiality on his phone. Found bestiality, if, for those that don't know, but I'm sure many of you do know what bestiality is. It's when a human being encounters sexual acts with an animal. That is fucking whacked, people. This guy got a one-year deferred sentence. I'm going to just keep reminding you of that one-year deferred. Okay? And uh, all he did was plead guilty to the one sexual abuse charge, and all 63 other charges went right out the window. All right? So the conclusion of all this, people, he can, when this is all said and done, and he completes his treatment and completes what he has to with probation, he can campaign. Okay, it's just the thought of this. Now, I don't think anybody's going to allow this, but he can campaign, okay, to get this expunged from his record completely wiped out. Nuts, right? Fucking nuts that this man violated a 14 year old girl, an 11 year old boy, not to mention. Another female that was 17 years old, which is married to him, I guess. I can imagine what kind of peach she is. Um, I mean, she mar she started the relationship, I guess, in Montana. 17. 17 is legal in some states. Um, 17 is legal in New York State where I'm at. But the, to me, that's still funny shit. But this girl started a relationship with this man at 17 years old. And that's how he got cracked open, I guess. Her parents must have, you know notified law enforcement and that's when they started their investigation and they ended up seeing all this crazy shit so which he is married to this girl today i guess now she's 19 um but yeah he was charged initially with by you know the 17 year old girl he was dating and then her parents had him arrested when they investigated everything took his computers phones all that good shit they found all this evidence and all this, you know, video footage, this, that, and has it. Black and white, videos, all that. And this man gets a one-year deferred sentence, people. And come, and he didn't even have a paid lawyer. It was a public defender got him this. Wow. But that's it, people. That's a, that's that's the uh, meat and potatoes there. Uh, this, it's just, I wanted to share this video with you because I was very, very, very fucking disturbed behind this. Sorry about my language, but it is, I'm just, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. It's, all right, I take, I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me in, ever, okay? I went to prison, I got an 11 year bid, okay? I got six years, six to 11 years, all right? I was arrested, I take full responsibility for what I've done to go to prison. I stole a shit ton of firearms and put them on the streets, okay? And, you know, guns kill people. All right. No, actually, let me rephrase that. I believe people kill people. You know, I don't. I, I, I don't buy that. People kill people. Guns don't kill people. I don't like when I see that because I'm not anti-gun. I'm all about right to bear arms. I'm, we're not going to get into politics, but my point is, I stole a shit ton of firearms, and this man, um, fucking damages, a, you know, a bunch of kids. And does all these sexual acts with them because 64 counts this this had to go on carry they must have happened a mess full of times in one year makes me sick people can't say that enough but people I just wanted to share that with you I'm gonna end this video with that um, but before I end I want to thank all you guys you guys have been awesome and I would like to hear your thoughts and your comments and your opinions on this and you know throw them in the comments below and if you agree with me on this video, okay, about, you know, how how I feel, hit that like button. I want to see how many people agree on this. I want to see if I get a thumbs down. Because if you get a thumbs down, I hope you don't sleep at night because that's disgusting. You know, because there are people out there that support this kind of shit or all about this behavior, as we already seen today. And, you know, with the, the troll that left that nice comment for me about my part one story. Yeah. This, this, you know, this, this, this uh, story that I just shared is right up your alley, bud. You know, so it's very disturbing, and they're out there. And I want to thank everybody. 
give you a heads up part two is coming in the next day or two i'm actually in the middle of it right now editing it and everything so you guys will have that i'm going to drop content always in between news whatever anything so so you guys will always 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 have something from dog pound 24 7 with that i'm going to end please if you already haven't hit that subscribe and hit that like people everybody stay free safe and corona free everybody have a good night see